Chapter Twelve: Attack of the Noses. Next, an extraordinary chain of events was set into motion by Sir Basil, with the help of Winston. The zookeeper hurriedly began opening gates to the animal enclosures all over the zoo. First, the hooded seal lumbered over and blew up his nose like a balloon. Ah! Yelled Stubbs, in fear of this strange creature. As he, Gaz, and Boz backed away, they heard a roar behind them. Roar! They turned round to see the Komodo dragon doing her best dinosaur impression. Ah! Screamed the boys again. As the trio backed away from the dragon. The umbrella bird attacked from above, whacking them on the back of their heads with his long waddle. Thwack, thwack, thwack. Despite priding themselves on being the toughest children in the school, the bullies all screamed, "Help!" But no help came. It was as if Sir Basil was a conductor, and the animals were his orchestra. Next, the marabou stork took to the air with three friends on board. The star-nosed mole was clinging on to one foot. The pig-nosed frog was gripping on to the other. The proboscis monkey was dingle dangling from the stork's dingly dangly neck. Drop! Boomed Sir Basil. The three animals let go of the bird and fell through the air, landing one by one on top of the bullies' heads. Plop, plop, plop. It was the attack of the noses. The star-nosed mole tickled under Buzz's chin with his wormy bits. Ha ha ha! The boy laughed, but it was an agonizing laugh. A laugh of pain. No, no! I'm going to wet myself. The pig-nosed frog did a massive sneeze with her snout. Ah, ah, ah! Choo! And snotted into Gaza's face. Ah! I can't see. I have frog snot in my eyes. Finally. The proboscis monkey shook his head from side to side, bashing Stubbs in the face with his long red hooter. Bam! 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 Ow! 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 Screamed Stubbs. The children all shook with laughter. <laughs> But no one laughed louder than Bob. <laughs> The headmistress. This is the worst school trip ever. But she was wrong. This was the best school trip ever. <laughs>